Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to present slope deflection equation. Okay, when you are undergraduate study, you already learned slope deflection equation. Here, structural stability. You have the actual force at the beam column. Okay? So the slope deflection equation uh, become complicated. This member should be called beam column. When you undergraduate study, there is no P. Okay, P equal zero. Uh, for that case, P equal zero. M A equal E I over L four set A plus two set B. M B. This moment can be written E I over L two set A plus uh, four set B. I believe you already uh, learned this equation in your undergraduate study. It is called slope deflection equation but in this course you have axial force p p is not zero anymore if axial force exists what happened to this slope deflection equation it must be complicated right this four four two two should be changed this number should be changed how change it okay let's look at this p uh, is not zero then uh, we have this equation, deflection equation. Y equal minus MA cosine blah 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 blah. Have you seen uh, this equation before? Yes, huh? you must see in the previous lecture. If you have some both and a moment, that deflection can be written like this. We already derived. You can see the previous lecture. That is the equation. You got the deflection at this uh, condition subjected to actual force bending moment set i set b that is uh, deflection then here as you see m a m b m a m b so we have to rearrange regarding m a and m b this m a term m a term m a term m a term m b term m b term then rearrange like that regarding m a m b then if you take a uh, derivative then you can uh, write this equation take here derivative this and this equation uh, that is a slope right this is a slope if the slope x equal zero what is that the slope is set a if x equal l the y prime is set b right so here, uh, theta a equal y prime zero, x equal zero, right? Yeah, so if you input x equal zero here, cosine zero one, sine zero zero, like that, then uh, you can write uh, this equation. If you calculate theta b equal y prime l, so if you input l instead of x, Cosine L, sine L, cosine L, something like that. If you rearrange you can uh, rewrite this equation like this. Yeah, set A, set B. This MA, MB, MA, MB. So, uh, uh, you can write the, uh, the matrix form. Set A, set B, MA, MB. F11, F12, F21, F22. Here, F11, F22 equal this one. If you see this one, this one, this one, right? Yeah, that is F11, F22. F12, F21 is this one, this one, 1, 2, 2, one, like that. It is a flexibility matrix. If you take inverse of this uh, flexibility matrix, then you can rewrite this equation. M, A, M, B, that should be moved left hand side and take inverse, right? That is a uh, matrix operation. M, A, M, B can be written like that. If you calculate uh, this inverse matrix of this flex, uh, flexible matrix, then you can get this equation. S, I, I, S, I, J, S, J, I, S, J, J. It is called stability function. If you calculate this inverse, this S, I, I, S, J, J can be written like this. K, L, sine K, L, blah, blah, blah. I J uh, J I equal K L square minus K L sine K L blah 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 like that. That is stability function. If you don't have any P, what is the number S one one four right? What is S J J four? 
How about SIJ2, SJI2, huh? slope deflection equation at your undergraduate study, right? 4 theta A, 2 theta B, 2 theta A, 4 theta B, right? Uh, as long as you have P, this uh, stability function can be written like that. So P include here. Where is the P in this equation? K, right? What is K? P over EI, right? Square root 2. That is K, right? So K include. Huh? K include P. So this daily function consider P. So this is the stiffness matrix, right? Stiffness matrix considering P. Do you understand? Yeah, it is called the stability function. If you see the table 3.7, your textbook, page 185. Let's see yeah, this table. So uh, KL, let's say 0. What does that mean? KL equals 0. That means P equals 0, right? Because K equals square root to p over ei so p is zero p is zero that means p over p e zero right p e is all of working load because p equal zero that this value also zero right so in the case sii is four right sij two sii four sij is two they are compression, they are tension, okay? I mean P equal compression, P equal tension, in the case SI and SIG. It is the same as what you already learned at your undergraduate study, okay? In slope deflection equation. Do you understand? Let's look at some specific case. Uh, KL equal 3.15. 3.15 is uh, approximately pi. KL equal, uh, can be written also pi root 2 P O P E. You already learned this one. If uh, KL equal 3.15, approximately pi, right? This pi, this pi, cancel out. So P over P E should be 1. You can see this specific case. So that means P E over P E equal 1 means P equal all of our load. You see this uh, specific case. And then let's look at that uh, figure of a stability function, plot of a stability function. These values is KL. From the table above, using this data, you can draw uh, this curve, right? Compression axial force is the solid line. Tensile axial force is that line. Let's look at compressive axial force. SII. If KL equals 0, that means P0. So SII is 4, your well-known value. SIJ equals 2. So the value increase like that. Yeah. KL, then SII. Uh, cover like this. If you use the data of this table, SIJ is go up like that. Tensile axial force case, this dot line, this is uh, II, IJ case. As you see, uh, compressive force uh, applied. The stability function is uh, shows big change corresponding to uh, KL increase, right? Because complex force causes the buckling effect. So we can see some uh, drastic change of SII, SIJ. A member subjected to tensile axial force. Tensile axial force does not uh, make any buckling. If we apply the tensile force, the stiffness smoothly increase like that. Yeah, you can see the characteristic of a stability function. If you compare the stability function versus FEM, the characteristic of a stability function is one element can predict second of the geometric nonlinear effect accurately because the calculation of MA and B consider P delta effect so this MA and B calculation in the stability function use the exact nonlinear equation as we derived just before. But FEM use 
very approximate the equation regarding p delta effect okay instead of uh, use the exact equation of stability function in fa approach in order to get the p delta effect a lot of elements are required yeah that is difference between two uh, let's look at this modified slope deflection equation consider member with sway case originally this uh, horizontal member it is swayed like that amount of delta and then p applied then this member deformed like that so if you see here from this horizontal uh, line this is the uh, the angle of this member that is theta a that is also theta b horizontal and then this slope this angle is theta b in that case what happened to the uh, slope deflection equation ma mb eil eil they are same SI, SIJ, SIJ, SI, they are same. Uh, there are angle change here. So as you see, this angle change is that, you know, this is sway angle change. The angle due to this sway, that is delta over L. That angle uh, does not influence any the force, okay? So we have to deduct this angle change so theta a minus this angle that is delta over l okay we have to make minus so uh, we have to see we have to calculate the angle change uh, from this the member member itself the slope uh, we have to consider this thing it influence some member force yeah like that if you remember your some undergraduate course in the case also you use 4 minus delta over l like that 2 minus delta over l do you remember uh, in case of a member sway case okay so here the change is just sii sij sij jj si like that and let's look at the member with a hinge at one end let's consider hinge uh, at b hinge means moment equal zero in the case the equation is ei over l sij theta a plus si theta b equal mb right equal zero because hinge from this equation you have the relationship of theta b relationship theta b equal minus sij si theta a from this one this one should be zero if we input this equation to theta a equation okay ma equal ei over l s i i theta a s i j theta b uh, that equation if we input theta b then you can rewrite uh, this equation if you have hinge at b then ma equation like that okay it is changes like that if you have a member with uh, transverse loading in the case you have a fixed end moment at a fixed end moment b you have to add here if you have this transverse loading it is very similar to that uh, undergraduate courses instead of uh, sii sij in the same way basically consider member with uh, elastically restrained end that means this is column this is beam there are angle connection here if the moment apply here this angle deformed we can draw moment and uh, rotational angle this angle change due to uh, this connection is not rigid if this connection is rigid let's say uh, uh, it is welded together beam and column then it is rigidly connected then if moment increase there is no angle change i mean that connection angle this theta r means the angle change due to this angle flexibility this angle deformation but if the welding so in the case there is no angle change so it is rigid if hinge then without any moment you have the angle change like that this connection is called a semi-rigid connection that means this connection has some stiffness not rigid rk connection stiffness the moment apply then this connection itself has some angle change set up like that 
uh, we can model like that this color member p member and this spring yeah so far we assume this connection is rigid connection part is rigid so there is no angle change due to moment at connection itself so this connection maintain 90 degree MLS connection case that uh, let's look at this uh, the moment MA uh, applied so originally this uh, 90 degree connection has some deformed like this that is the amount that is this moment divided by uh, connection stiffness that is set up so the uh, remaining the angle is this one so that angle can be written set a minus this angle change that is slope of this member member slope by uh, deduction of uh, connection angle uh, change so uh, that equation can be written again like that set a minus m a r k a that is member slope this member slope influence the member force okay theta b also theta b minus m b r uh, k b like that m a m b equation if you investigate uh, this equation there are theta a theta a theta b theta b a theta b uh, so you have to arrange uh, theta a and theta b and equation this equation should not include theta a and theta b so from these two equations you can calculate this theta a theta b then you may write in this form as you see this r stock here so r star value is this one it is a simultaneous equation uh, you can represent this equation m a m b uh, you have this equation all stop to understand okay see you everybody in next lecture bye